Ever good morning to you. The word just coming down from Israel's interior minister that they are approving this humanitarian request. However, in the request, uh, Congresswoman Tlaib said she would not promote boycotts while she was in the country. It's a really disservice to all of us that want to see peace there. That was Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib firing back at Israel's decision to bar her from visiting. But that decision, at least part of it, is being reversed. Israel's interior minister says he has granted a request by Representative Tlaib to visit the West Bank to visit her family on humanitarian grounds. Tlaib had planned to visit her grandmother during the visit until she and Representative Elon Omar were barred from visiting. It was a main point she made last night before the decision was reversed. We see Israel as a democracy, as a democratic country, but it's very obvious that they're trying to limit uh, what I'm able to do when I get there. I mean, I, my goal is to see my grandmother. Um, you know, again, she's in her 90s. This could be my last chance to see her. Originally, the decision was made by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, saying the purpose of the women's visit was to negate Israel's legitimacy. Tlaib and Representative Ilana Omar have been supporters of BDS legislation, which stands for Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Against Israel. The very senior members of our Jewish caucus in the House spoke out and said this was wrong. Whether they agreed with her or not, they thought she should be allowed to visit and expressed to directly to the government of Israel how wrong they thought this was. Last month, Israel said to leave and Omar would be allowed, but President Trump tweeted that would show great weakness by Israel and said the two women, quote, hate Israel and all Jewish people. I really believe that it would be a terrible thing for Israel. I think it would show a terrible sign. Uh, they want to do boycotts. And after that, there were a lot of people questioning and still questioning this morning whether or not President Trump played a role in this, specifically asking the boycott to happen. And Rhonda, we're looking at more of the information coming in. In fact, a letter published by the Interior Minister's uh, office says that Tlaib said that she would respect any restrictions and, again, would not promote boycotts during her visit.